What do three rascals, a grump, a high school physics teacher, and a furniture salesman all have in common? They all moonlight as singers in a barbershop chorus. Far from a dead style, this group of almost 50 meets every Thursday in Greenwood Park Church to practice their craft. Well, I love it. Um, you know, I've been involved in barbershop for a long time. I guess I got started back in 93. Um, I just loved it. I loved the sound of the harmonies, and I loved standing the first time. I remember standing in a circle with three guys for the very first time and hearing what it does, you know, physically in your ears. It's it's amazing how um, how tight the harmonies can be, and it's. Uh, you know, to me, that's the thing that hooked me was quartet singing. And then I kind of got out of it when my kids were born. Um, and I was out of the hobby for uh, until they were 10. So we joined up again last year. And, um, you know, I'm glad to be able to have them involved in it. I mean, to me, that's the biggest thing. I probably wouldn't be involved in it again if I couldn't have my kids involved. Um, but they're able to sing in the chorus and they love, they love quartet singing and they love chor chorusing. It's like the big night of the week for them and they do a lot of other stuff too, but this is this is the thing that means the most to them. And I think, you know, a lot of that has to do with the guys that are part of the chorus. We have old guys, young guys, kids, middle-aged guys. We have such a good diversity in the group that they feel they feel connected to lots of different age groups and I think that connection is the thing that, you know, keeps them involved and it keeps me interested too. If it was just an old man's chorus or a young man's chorus, I probably wouldn't have the level of interest in it that I do. But I love, I love the hobby, I love singing, and then I love music and theory, and then putting all that together with good friends and stuff just makes it great for me.